so so far we discussed how to create object using XML file and how to inject all the required data or objects using XML file itself any kind of data we learned any kind of data that we can inject but so far we used old approach XML based approach that is not sufficient for current development as we are using latest annotations in Spring Boot development or any Spring Web development or microservices. We use purely annotations. And the main annotations that we should aware of is <coughs> stereotype annotations which are component, controller, service, repository and configuration with the combination of at the rate B. So these annotations will avoid XML. For what purpose we use this annotation and where we use them means on class level we put these annotations. When we put these annotations on class level, IOC can easily scan your classes and it will create object for them. Just you need to give the base package of your classes. IOC will perform scanning when you load it. It will perform scanning and it will create objects for them. Alone creation of objects itself is not sufficient. It should be able to connect them also. Earlier, <clears throat> earlier when developer is having control with the XML file, he used to manage dependencies also. Dependency injection manually, developer used to do that. But when we go with these annotations, container taking control of object creations of each and every class. So we lost the control. We don't know which ID it is used, which object it is created. So as a developer, you can't uh, frame that query. Address object how we injected into student manual. We can't map it easily because we don't know. Object itself we are not creating. We don't have control. IOC is creating. It promised I will create it for you just to mention these annotations. Okay. Till there it is fine. That how this connection is possible between these objects. Somebody should perform that dependency injection. Yes. IOC can do that for you not only object creation it can connect them with the auto wiring and this example I given and if you try to remember I created few classes car engine and fuel fuel is dependency for engine and engine is dependency for car class if it is a XML file approach I create fuel ID fuel ID I can pass to engine class setter method and this engine id i can pass to car class setter method or constructor via reference attribute i can pass it <clears throat> but now i am using this annotation at the rate repository on my fuel class so fuel object automatically created that automatically created object i want to inject here on that fuel section so you need to mention at the rate auto wired here. That means <clears throat> it is saying Indian class is saying I have a fuel dependency inject it automatically. It is telling to container inject it automatically. <clears throat> I am not as a developer I am not going to do any dependency. I'm just mentioning auto wire, it's your job. 
engineer developers telling to ios container i am not going to do any dependency mission. you take care of it as you promised you are creating objects right let's do the dependency injection also you are telling to put stereotype annotation yes i created fl class i mentioned stereotype annotation then you take care of it as you said i given you inject it here so i was telling that mention at the rate auto word i will take care and but make sure your fuel class object should have a stereotype you mentioned auto word that is perfectly fine i'll inject it but you make sure your fuel class should have at the rate stereotype annotation then only i can create object then only ioc can create object and it can make it available for you otherwise from where it will bring so careful that before mentioning auto wired here check whether did i mentioned that fuel class with any stereotype yes if i mentioned it nothing to worry ioc will create object anyway and that created object it can able to pass it here getting right when i mention at the rate auto wired compulsory to auto wire this object here somebody should create that object either you or ioc okay let's consider ioc need to create that object for you how it will create without stereotype it can't create so it is mandatory that that stereotype should be available on top of your container any stereotype so that object it will create and it can able to automatically pass it here same thing indian object it can create and automatically it can pass here into car whichever you mention it auto wired here same way here i created one automatic car so i auto wired a motor here i am sure that motor object will create because at the rate service annotation i put then motor class is having battery dependency so that battery also stereotyped with stereotype annotation so every object it will create battery object first it will create motor object it will create and it will verify motor object is having battery dependency so as battery depend battery object already created it will inject here and then it will create this tesla object it is auto wired so already this object is created i was see automatically it will inject that variable reference here so the end to end flow is ready end to end flow is ready for you <clears throat> all that you need to do is send some data from front end it will travel across finally it will save it into your database that's it majority of the code you understood from this stereotypes always you do same stuff you will be writing your classes with the, some stereotype annotations and auto wire if it is a controller annotation you will put controller stereotype if it is a business class service if it is a do class repository you will put and for your dependencies you will put always at the rate auto wire but which kind of dependency it is all are secondary types only auto wire it is eligible on top of secondary types only if you have some string variable string driver name url username password and if you mention auto wired on top of string variables or integer variables it will not function because strings or integers or developer need to pass from somewhere from properties file or from xml file it's your job to pass them auto wired is meant for objects dependency injection only okay remember that auto wired is for injecting objects only not for simple primitives strings what if my class having simple primitives earlier you i am saying you to avoid xml earlier i used to pass everything via xml file so that earlier i used to configure my fuel class or battery classes whatever classes 
here in XML file I used to configure them. So dependency injection also was possible there. Now you removed that scope from our hand and you mentioned stereotypes. Now from where I should able to do that? Simple properties dependency injection. Simple strings if I want. Simple properties if I want. You can handle it. I'll show you. So this example, I think we delivered it in last session. <coughs> okay. So the next question mark is if I have simple properties like strings from where I can pass them. And what is the importance of configuration annotation with that? The rate three. That is very, 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 very important again. For a normal developer, <coughs> will work on these flows. But if you are a developer, where you need to create some configurations also, you must aware of at the rate configuration and at the rate bean as well. At the rate configuration and at the rate bean, we view, we will use for setting up configurations. Are these controller service repository classes are not configurations? No, they are simple MVC classes. Controller job read data from front end. Service job read data from controller and do business calculations repository job just do plain prod operations then what do you mean by configuration configuration in the sense in typical mvc application if you go if you look at this diagram here you can say daos before doing save operation or update or delete operations they need connections in real time, generally we don't create connection directly here using class dot for name. We don't put any JDBC code directly here. Rather than we get connections from connection pool objects. That is the right way and the best way. Somewhere I should create that connection pool. Connection pool class is not my class to, to stereotype it, understand it. Controller class is my class. Vasu developing it or Vinod developing it or Shravani developing it. Whoever is, whoever developing this use case, registration use case, he or she will write this controller class. You are writing. This is pure class, your class only. Service class is your class. DO class is your class. Utility class is your class. And this DB configuration also your class. You are writing them. But connection pool classes are not your classes. Those are predefined classes. Apache library given some classes. Spring library given some classes, some other vendors also given some classes, third party classes I have. Now I want to, I want to bring that third party class to my application. That is not my class, but that is there from third party. I need not to write similar class. If I try to write for testing and creating connection pool, similar implementation itself, I may need to spend three, four months of time. If it is available freely in market, you can get it why you should create such a class by spending that much amount of time. If you are going to write your own connection pool class, you may stereotype it with maybe component and you can create uh, your own connection pool logic, but it may take three, four months of time to, you to implement a fully functioned connection pool class. Instead, there are free classes available. I should, I should able to utilize them. In other words, there are some third party classes, the third party class object I want to use along with my controller service DO classes. But uh, whether it is your class or third party class, end of the day objects are going to create by your IOC only. IOC should create it. Because I understand that third party class object I required here. Okay, let me draw one more image. I have simple registration form. Consider one of you developing it. Name, email, address, phone number, details I have with the submit button. Now tell me if I assign job to you, how many classes you will write here and which annotations you use. 
you can tell me. One of you was who or we know Nitin. So far we understand right MVC architecture. Which classes I need to create here? Yes, four classes. What are they? So to read this data, I need a controller. So I understand that at the rate controller I can put. Okay, good job. So controller will read this data and I will name it. Okay, one class name student controller. I can read data here. What next? Controller needs a, a business class. Though you have business, much business logic or not, follow the architecture. So I need a business class. Let's name it student service. And here I know which annotation I should use at the rate service for it. And compulsory this class I should auto wire here. Otherwise I can't connect them. First I need to connect these two. Okay. Good idea. Configure it auto wire. Put student service. So whichever object it IOC will create during scanning that it will pass here. Okay, cool. So your controller can able to connect with the business or service class. Then next I want to do CRUD operation. I want to save data into database. I need a repository class here. Okay. This repository class need to be connected with the service class. So same story at the rate auto wired. So that this dependency will be available there. So you can connect here. And here I have some CRUD operation methods to save the data. Consider I want to save this first. So I want to call this save method from service class inside repository I have this save method from here I want to pass my data to database table and insert it finally that is my end of the day goal from here I want to bring data to database I got the connections here if you see front end will connect with this controller controller connecting with your service with auto wired Service is connecting with auto wire to repository. Now your repository need to connect with the database. So if you want to connect with any database, right? Database will provide you connections. Database will have connections. You need that connection here. You need that database connections here. How many connections database will have depends on your database. Depends on your database it can provide multiple number of connections if it is a open source free database it may provide very few connections if it is for commercial use it may provide 500,000 connections also consider I have maximum 20 connections in my database up to 20 connections my database can able to provide up to 20 connections to 20 connections my database can able to provide but I need that connection you are seeing 20 connections good and you are not going to write class dot for name or driver dot uh, get driver manager dot get this logic you are not going to write here that is not good way you should not write that logic here I'll tell you in connection pool discussion what is the problem with that direct creation of objects and all so I should not use this direct approach Direct approach is bad. Class dot for name and driver manager dot get connection is a bad approach. Okay. How I can get connection? So this is bad approach you are saying. Okay. I'll agree. But I need a connection. If you need a connection, there are some third party classes to provide it to you in a different way not with the driver manager dot get connection they will create a pool from pool it will provide you 
this driver manager dot get connection logic is like hiring a car i mean instead of hiring a car driver manager dot get connection is something like buying a car i want to travel from hyderabad to bangalore only for that purpose you will buy a car for one time trip no i'll hire a car i'll rent it once i return back to hyderabad i'll just give their car to them and they will give the same car to others also just like a car pool if you do driver manager dot get connection that means for every save operation you are trying to purchasing a new car it's a very bad idea getting direct connection also similar thing it will cost the same so in real time we never get connection directly from database because it will cost so much what what do you mean by cost so much means it will take a lot of time for us in terms of application it is going to take a lot of time to open connection to close the connection so it's not a good idea so we will use connection pool okay am i going to write that connection pool class means no you need not to write there are so many third party libraries available you can utilize them okay you are saying there is a third party class that is available so that that can provide connection pool here yes so data source i can auto wire data source here which is connection pool dependency data source i can auto wire here but who will create this data source first tell me who will create this data source you are telling to auto wire it here fine but somebody should create or ioc should create it right without ioc creating this object it cannot able to auto wire it here data source need to be created first if this object is available in container then only i can able to auto wire here so now tell me where i can create this data source you are telling that this data source class is a third party class connection pool class so i clearly understand i am not going to use any stereotype if i start using stereotype that means that's my class if i try to write a class my connection pool implementation i need to write lot of logic here lot of logic i need to write and i can stereotype maybe a component so this can be auto wired here after object creation but this lot of logic i can't put it i can't write it so this is bad way means time consuming way i can't create it also logically if you ask me even i don't know how to do that i need to do lot of research to create that connection pools so we have third party classes so now how to bring that third party class and tell ioc container to create object now question is i have third party third party classes we have use third party library so third party classes i have how i can bring that third party class to my ioc container and auto wire it here getting right where i am going so instead of writing my own connection pool class as it is going to take lot of time third party library which is already available also i can use how to use and how that is created with ioc ioc should create end of the day third party object also ioc should create then only it can able to auto wire here otherwise it cannot able to auto wire so for that purpose only given configuration class at the rate configuration class given annotation so here you write such all configurations public class something pool configuration or db config right to db config class use at the rate b in whichever third party object you want to create you need to create a method public the third party object type data source i want to create data source object and some method name give some name here for method create a data source create a ds something 
what I'm doing third party library, I'm going to use here. So now whichever third party library you have, use that third party library. Third party object you create here and return it. What will happen? Third party object once you create and return it. At the rate bean I mentioned here, whatever you return it, immediately it will catch to your IOC. As soon as you return, create third party library object here and you return it, immediately this data source object, it will catch and store it into IOC container because you mentioned at the rate bean annotation. So IOC container will hold this data source object also like other beans. When you use stereotypes, IOC container creating this object, controller, service, repository, your configuration component also, right? Along with them, when you mention at the rate bean, intentionally your IOC container will execute this method also. You need not to call this method will be executed. Really, because that is a configuration. This at the rate bean method will be executed and it will create whatever logic as a developer you will be writing logic here this logic only you are going to write third party library you will use and you will return it end of the day this you need to definitely do you need to create third party object as a developer and you need to return it so whatever return type you have you should put that return type here immediately this returned object also it will keep it into ioc memory like your controller service repository objects Whatever object you created and returned, it will keep it into IOC because you mentioned at the rate B. Now, tell me, I need data source object here. Will it able to auto wear or not? Because data source object also you created and returned, that object it will hold in IOC memory because you mentioned at the rate B. As I mentioned at the rate B, whichever object you are returning, it will hold it into IOC memory then that object is eligible here for auto wiring automatically data source will be injected here so when you have third party libraries not only for connection pool when you have third party libraries create third party object return it and mention at the rate bit create it return it at the rate bit create it return it at the rate bit this theory is for what? Third party objects. Create third party object, return it, keep at the rate bean on top of method. So this third party objects also will be will register into your IOC only, IOC context only, along with your objects. So now when I say complete objects I require to move end to end flow, front end send data to controller, okay, controller you implemented, service you implemented, service you auto wired so you can send data to service. Then service needs a repository object. You created repository object and you auto wired. So my service can able to talk with repository. My repository need a connection full object, but I am not going to create that repository. I mean, data source connection pool object. I will use third party library. I create return it with at the rate bean. That's it. Whichever object you create and return it, only one time this method will be executed. Only one time in its lifetime. These methods are configuration methods, not for you to call every time. Configuration methods, you need not to call. IOC will call them. When you mention at the rate bean, it will consider, okay, developer now introducing some third party objects there. I should execute that method. Whatever object he is returning, I need to keep it into IOC memory because he is expecting that object to be auto wired. Why I created? For auto wiring purpose only. I need that object. That's why I created at the rate bean. If you are not auto wiring, if you are not using why what is the use of creating it? Nothing. I need some third party library because I'm spending a lot of time if I am going to create the similar logic here. So I'll create that objects manually and I'll return it on top of those methods. I'll creep at the rate bean. So that configuration object is ready for me. I can serve it here.
so only third party objects configuration objects we create under configuration class and that too we use at the rate bean on top of that configuration methods only this configuration only will work perfectly sometimes people will use instead of configuration component also will use the here that is very bad don't use configuration apart from configuration component or other stereotype code looks like functioning only but it will create lot of damage if somebody call as this is a method right if somebody try to call this methods intentionally this code repeatedly will execute when if it is not a configuration annotation if it is a configuration annotation it will not allow you to execute this logic repeatedly so configurations will not disturb to make sure to do not disturb your configurations within at the rate be use with the at the rate configuration only don't use other stereotype on top of at the rate bean methods class do you guys understand the scope or the need of at the rate bean right yeah don't hesitate if you didn't understand ask me i'll try to explain it in a different exactly yes third party or whichever is not a controller or service or repository okay apart from this there are some rest templates we create some converters we create or some third party classes also we will use in such scenarios we will use it okay no end of the day no no it will keep the same memory it will consider end of the day all are beans for spring only uh, i mean it will consider all these classes are beans only spring intention is what i need to create them automatically and i need to perform automatic dependency injection to reduce the burden from developer shoulders so that is the main theme here okay for that purpose it given stereotypes okay our journey is simple so that i can use stereotypes on top of every class so every object it can able to create and using auto where i can able to inject them but this is true until here but when you have third party configurations as that is a third party class there won't be any stereotype apache implemented 30 years back the connection pool implementation in this third party and this annotations hardly came 5 6 years back and they did not used any spring libraries in that third party library third party is a different java library so they did not used any stereotypes on their classes so when i include their classes here obviously this objects will not be created because they did not used any stereotypes they are different classes but still i need to bring into live that third party object i need to bring into live like my controller service repository so where should i do that that is the place at the red bean method okay i'll give you basic examples but in real just a minute guys generally in real time right mostly connection pools or rest templates such as stuff we will put under at the rate bean method or else during application startup something stuff need to be started we will put that okay in end to end use case you will see that but let's understand for easy to remember it easy when i have third party libraries to create third party objects i should use at the rate bean method then only i can able to auto wire third party here when i auto wired my own self classes easily i can auto wire them because my container will ensure 
these objects will create it. But when I auto wide third party library, you should ensure that object IOC will create. How? With that, the rate bean method. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I'll give you end to end use case. End to end use case with connection pool. Okay. So easily you can remember it. Okay. Maybe tomorrow I'll give you this. What do you say? I'll give you connection pool also, importance of connection pool. Then I'll do end to end use case. Okay, before going to write it, actual connection pools we will discuss. And disconnect, discuss, discuss about connection pooling. Okay. Then we will use this at the rate bean approach to create them. <clears throat> and we will do end to end operation. I will not include view. Apart from view, in real time, generally, how we do this controller service, DAO, and connection pools. I'll give you end to end use case. Okay. After connection pool discussion. Connect after connection pool, we will see at the rate bin. Okay. I don't want to give a simple example and close that. You will see real time scope. Okay. Yeah, we'll connect to our page 30 and we'll discuss about connection pool. Then I'll give you an example. Okay, maybe maybe we will see at the rate value annotations also. More. Okay. Then we'll come back to this discussion and we will conclude it. Okay. Once we conclude it, once we conclude it, I'll give you simple MVC example. Here and there, I'll I'll just go back to you know uh, different modules and I'll come back to the context. Okay, to make your journey simple. Okay, <clears throat> this is not the pattern that you used to do, but to make you a complete real time experience i'm i'm following this approach okay so this helps you a lot it will give you all the connections between topic to topic easily 